party started. Good morning. And welcome. My name is Paula Saiki, and I'm the Vice President for Institutional Advancement here at Wentworth and your MC for this morning's program. Before we begin, there is one change to the program. Ryan Golden sends his regrets. Due to an unforeseen family commitment, he will not be joining us. We want to acknowledge Brian's support for this project and also offer our thanks to the staff of the Boston Planning and Development Agency, which Brian directs. Please give him a round of applause. This is a historic moment for Wentworth as we gather to break ground on the first new academic building for campus in more than four decades. A brand new home at the Institute for Engineering, Innovation, and the Sciences. On behalf of the administration and the entire Wentworth community, I want to welcome some special guests who are here with us today. Boston Mayor Martin J. Walsh. Boston City Councilors Josh Sakum and Tim McCarthy. And State Representative China Tyler. I also want to congratulate the project's architects, Lears Weinsopfel, associates. They have created a beautiful design that will combine Wentworth's traditional buildings in a modern context. I also want to acknowledge the construction manager for the project, Gil Bain Building Company. and our owner's project manager, STV DPM. <laughs> to get our program started this morning, it gives me great pleasure to welcome to the main podium, Greg Janey, the principal owner of Janey Construction Management. <laughs> Greg? <laughs> Let me give you a little introduction of Greg. Greg is a Wentworth alumnus, trustee, and recent Wentworth Honorary Degree recipient. Just a few weeks ago, Greg received his honorary doctoral degree after delivering a compelling address at the Institute's Spring 2017 Commencement Ceremony. Many of you may have seen Greg's picture in the Boston Business Journal, where he was touted as one of the city's best commencement speakers this spring. So welcome, Greg. Thank you, Paula, and good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm pleased to be here with all of you this morning to break ground on this beautiful new facility. This project has generated a lot of excitement. And over the years, I've seen more than a few projects take place on this campus. But none of them match the importance of this building in terms of the educational value it brings to Wentworth students. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a historical project, as Paula noted. And we have a long list of people to thank. People whose support made it possible for all of us to be here to celebrate this new building. I too want to thank the mayor and the state and city representatives for being here with us today lending their support to this important initiative. Additionally, we would like to express our gratitude to the Boston Planning and Development Agency, Community Task Force for Wentworth, and our Mission Hill and Fenway neighbors. We also acknowledge the Boston Building Trades for their support. Last, but certainly not least, I want to express our collective gratitude to President Zaritza Pontich for her leadership and vision which has kept the Institute moving forward for more than a decade. 
Wentworth's evolution under Dr. Pontage's tenure has been extraordinary. And the Institute's reputation and visibility have never been stronger. Please welcome Dr. Zaritza Pontage. Thank you, Greg. You are a true role model for our students, and we're very proud of you as our alumnus. And I have to again mention the Boston Business Journal that presented Greg's speech, and he was between Mark Zuckerberg and Opera. So it was a great, oops, great company to be in. Uh, thank you, Paula. Welcome all. It's wonderful to see you all here today, from our elected representatives, to trustees, corporators, alumni, students, staff, friends, community members, and benefactors. I know that all of you are very busy, so I appreciate you taking the time to be here with us at this historic moment for Wentworth, and I would say for the city, because not only the students of Wentworth and faculty are going to benefit from this building, but it will beautify really our neighborhood and make it look wonderful. The building that we're about to break ground for speaks volumes about Wentworth's progress and highlights its important role in higher education. This building's impact on teaching, learning, and innovation on our campus will be impacting many generations of students to come, and the city itself. We look forward to utilizing this space to enhance our competitive engineering and science programs, and to continue to align those programs with the needs of industry in the Commonwealth and beyond. With modern lab and office space, as well as special presentation and gathering areas for students, faculty, and staff, this building will promote new levels of collaboration at Wentworth and foster revolutionary approaches to resolving the technical challenges of the day. The building will house Wentworth's new biological engineering program as well as its, bio, its biomedical engineering and civil engineering programs, and also the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship and an additive 3D manufacturing center. Under the leadership of the board and their vision, Wentworth has become a leader in engineering, technology, design, and management education. This new building will help our students prepare for the opportunities of the knowledge-based economy of the 21st century. I'm looking forward to watching it appear on this path. And I cannot wait for the day, sometime in the spring of 2019, when we reconvene here to celebrate the opening of this new facility. I want to thank the many faculty members, staff, and students who participated on project-related committees and in meetings to review the building design, lab layouts, and equipment needs. It was essential that we have a collaborative process for this project, and this will be a better building because of the teamwork. Now, I want to welcome to the podium a great friend of Wentworth, an extraordinary leader who has brought a renewed energy and vision to the city, the best mayor not only in the state, but in the US and maybe in the world. <laughs> the Honorable Mayor of Boston, Martin J. Walsh. Thank you, thank you, Madam President. And um, I say it all the time, she's one of my favorite presidents because with introductions like that, uh, she's incredible. Um, let me just tell you a story about the president. Um, person who cuts my hair, I was talking to her one day and her son comes to the school. And um, she was talking about how she had a problem with the, an issue, their son had an issue with the school. So he called the school one day and this woman answered the phone and she took all the information down and she said she'd get back to her tomorrow. Uh, and then the next day came by and uh, 
she called the mother and told her about her, her son and, and explained what was going on. And the, the, the woman who I know got all the correct information. And she said to uh, the president, uh, can I have your name? Because I'd like to just report to the school how, how uh, helpful you were. And when she, when she introduced herself as President Pantich, she, was, she nearly died. Um, <laughs> But that's what you have here at the school. You have, you have somebody who's committed and dedicated. So thank you, Madam President. Uh, to all the students that are here, the faculty, staff, um, thank you as well for the great things you do in the city of Boston. We're excited today. To the Fenway neighborhood, thank you as well for the support and the working with the university uh, to help them build their first building in, in, in nearly over 45 years. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big testament to the community working with Wentworth, and I want to thank you for that. I want to thank the elected officials that are up here. Um, you know, they all have their own part in, in making sure that we continue to advance Boston. And I think we can all say when we have a groundbreaking of a school or a hospital, uh, it's always a good thing in our city because it talks about education and moving people forward. And I want to thank Representative China Tyler, who's done an incredible job in her first term as a state representative. City Council Josh Jacob, um, who I think half of this is his district. Uh, City Council Tim McCarthy, who informed me that 40% of his salary is invested in Wentworth every year. Uh, I want to thank you for that as well. Uh, I want to uh, also, Ron Dorsey, Chief of Education for the City of Boston is with us today, has joined us. I want to thank Ron as well. Um, this project is a good fit for Boston, the Boston of today and certainly the Boston of tomorrow. It's advanced STEM education, uh, something that's really important to us. Uh, the President talked about in classrooms, in laboratories, innovative learning, in a plaza. It's going to also open up pedestrian walkways for, to folks on Parker Street. It's going to open up those opportunities to more young people in our neighborhoods and our city. I also want to thank Wentworth for the dual enrollment courses you made available to the Boston Public School students this year. Three of our high school valedictorians took math classes here uh, and have obviously it's helped them because they're the valedictorians of the class. The project, uh, this project grows our community even stronger with eight new scholarships for girls in STEM programming and expanding the Boston Pipeline program at Madison Park. And it's important for us to make sure as we think of these schools, we think of our local kids to give them the opportunities to be able to come to the school and really create real, real lasting in, in jobs for them in the future. We are a world-class city of higher education and Wentworth is at the top of that list. It's a school where innovation becomes opportunity. Now you're expanding your engineering base here into life sciences and other forms of innovation that are changing our world. These impacts will help the students. These impacts that Wentworth is doing will produce upward mobility. Most of Wentworth students didn't come from the highest income households, but they have moved in that direction after they have graduated, and that's truly what we want to see continue happening in our city. The New York Times Mobile Index has Wentworth ranked in the top 13 of all Massachusetts colleges. Um, I would say that in Boston, certainly probably in the top 2 or 3 percent. So this building is not only an investment on this campus, it's an investment in our students and their futures, it's an investment in our city and our country, and it's an investment in the American dream. And I want to thank the President, the Board of Trustees, and all the folks here who made this possible. Congratulations once again on this exciting day for Wentworth University. Thank you, Mayor Walsh. Now let's welcome Professor Nate Durbinski of Computer Science Department to the podium to say a few words about the project. Thank you very much and good morning. Um, as a member of Wentworth's faculty, I'd like to do something that faculty do a lot, which is to reflect. And I want to reflect on the degree to which this building is reflecting an evolution of the Institute's mission for impactful interdisciplinary education. Physically, uh, this building is standing at the locus of academic activity on campus. At its corners, you'll find bastions of study in sciences, mathematics, construction, architecture, design, business, humanities, and a variety of engineering disciplines. Within two years, this building will house state-of-the-art facilities for innovation and experiential learning in a number of fields, as well as inclusive spaces for collaboration, concentration, and camaraderie. To arrive at today's momentous occasion, the students, faculty, staff, and administration of Wentworth have worked tirelessly with industry and community partners to envision and realize a space for next-generation learning. 
We began with our core value, students first. And from this place, we designed hands-on, real-world spaces for ex exploration, examination, and exhibition. And let me tell you, it hasn't been easy. When you have prime real estate up for grabs in Boston, there's always the temptation for opportunism. But I'd like to think we came together as a community and pooled our strengths as designers, engineers, architects, and educators, and produced collaboratively a fantastic new platform for learning, from which Wentworth can launch its next generation of invention and world-changing graduates. So in closing, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to the full team involved in the project, and particularly those that are striving every day to bridge divides and inspire change. Thanks. Thank you very much, Nate. I now want to introduce you to John Flynn, our student. John is the interim president of the Wentworth Student Government. He is a senior majoring in facility management and planning who will graduate in August. We're so happy that he can join us today. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you very much. I'm excited to be here with all of you on this very special occasion, which marks the beginning of a promising new chapter in the history of this institute. As the interim president of Wentworth Student Government, I'm honored to represent the student body this morning. This beautiful new building will excite and inspire students to learn and help educate future leaders in engineering and the sciences. Its labs and shared spaces will create the perfect training ground for the next generation of innovators. Wentworth has found great success with its hands-on approach to learning, molding students who are highly sought after for their practical knowledge and disciplined education. Take it from a senior who's looking forward to walking the commencement stage in just a few short weeks, employers love what Wentworth is doing. They want Wentworth graduates because not only do we have the knowledge, we know how to apply it right away. We hit the ground running, so to speak. As a student in the facility planning and management program, I enjoyed having the opportunity to take a close look at the design of this building. The layout of our new academic building with reconfigurable labs and classrooms doubles down on Wentworth's commitment to small classes, which focus on true learning, discovery, and innovation. Another great feature is that the faculty offices are located directly adjacent to learning spaces, which promotes genuine collaboration between professors and students. This is another great hallmark of Wentworth's unique learning environment. One of my favorite characteristics, though, is the open concept glass-walled first floor, which serves to proudly display the achievements of Wentworth students and connect our beautiful quad with the neighborhood. In addition, the state-of-the-art manufacturing and maker spaces on this floor will excite and inspire visitors and students alike. This new facility will fortify Wentworth's place among the best multidisciplinary technical engineering institutions in Boston and beyond. I look forward to the development of this building and the continued evolution of the institution. And I commend Wentworth for making this investment in its students. Thank you again for including us in this historic moment. Thank you very much, John. Great job. We're looking forward to uh, seeing you graduate in August. So now, the moment we've all been waiting for, it's time for the ceremonial part of our gathering. Would the individuals who are participating in the groundbreaking please exit to the left, and Dave Wallstrom will hand you your shovel, and if you're so inclined, a Wentworth baseball hat. Not necessary, though. It's not mandatory. One, two, two. Three and dig! Ground is broken! <laughs> <laughs> 